Hey there, Melamina here. Welcome back to my bikini competition journey. This is episode number 25, and it's called How Having a Strong Why Can Be the Difference Between Achieving Your Goals and Not. Woo! This is a long title this time, but it's a good one. So I am super excited to share this topic with you today. Um, I have a tool that I'm going to um, share with you a little bit later on, and I have used this tool before, and I've used it very successfully, so I'm really excited to share it with you, and um, hopefully you'll have some sec success with it as well. So, um, you know, it took me a little while this week to figure out what I wanted to talk about. Um, I've been sharing that I've been having a lot of bloating issues and along with the bloating issues I've also started to have a lot of fatigue and um, so I've been working with my trainer I've been working with a medical doctor um, to dig into some of these things and try to figure out what's going on and I wasn't really sure like what else I wanted to talk about um, so as I was brainstorming more of what I wanted to do this week I started to reflect upon like just everything that I have gone through up until this point in my training. And let me tell you, this is not a trivial list. Um, it, it started, I started training in April and even around that time, I already um, started to get, to experience some bloating. So that was number one. And then number two, my mom died. Number three, my dad died. Number four, I got married. I, I mean, that's, good stress. These other things were bad stress. This is, is good stress, but it's stress nonetheless. Um, and then going on my honeymoon. Woo! Yay. Definitely not stressful. Super fun. Uh, number five was all of the travel and the disruptions that um, came along with everything, you know, disrupting my nutrition um, programming and my weight training programming and just all of like the being thrown off of my routine. Uh, number six, processing grief. Number seven, uh, my workload has dramatically increased. And so it's it's not in a bad way, but again, like good stress, um, you know, it is, it is a positive thing, but stress nonetheless. Uh, number eight, making time to go to doctors and talk with specialists and go have lab work done and all of this stuff, trying to troubleshoot the bloating and fatigue issues. Uh, number nine, the like business end of dealing with my parents' death, um, settling their estates, both my mom and my dad. And then number 10, God forbid, squeezing in time with my husband and time for myself and some kind of a social life. So, I mean, good Lord, it has been a whirlwind um, since I made this, this decision. And, you know, it's funny because sometimes it's like we have these big goals and we decide to pull the trigger on that goal and it's almost like the universe goes okay really like how committed to you are this uh, how committed are you to this really so that's what brings me to the tool that i am super excited to share with you today um because through all of this adversity I have a strong enough why that is driving me towards uh, towards meeting my goal. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. So back in episode number one, I actually share what my why is. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back and um, check out episode number one and you'll discover what my why is. But what I wanna talk to you about now is the tool that I use to um, kind of like drill down a little bit more. For me, for this particular goal, it was pretty obvious um, for me and I feel like I struck gold like the first time um, when I was thinking about this goal. But there have been other goals in my life that I have worked towards and I needed to kind of dig down a little bit deeper into a stronger why that would anchor me um, to see the goal all the way through. So I know I'm not the only one with big dreams. I know that you also have really big, cool things that you wanna accomplish in your life. 
And sometimes that's hard to do because life gets in the way. And, you know, as human beings, we have patterns that we fall into. And incorporating something new and making time for something new can be really challenging. So that's why I wanted to share with you a tool that I learned from Dean Graciosi. And he calls it the seven levels deep exercise. So I'm going to provide a link to his exact um, exercise in the show notes so you can find it there. It'll have the instructions on how to do it. It'll have um, the, it, it gives a, um, an example that Dean works through, which I'm going to walk you through right now. And then it also gives a blank template for you to do the exercise on your own. And I really hope that you do. So, um, so most of the time when we have a goal and we don't achieve it, it's because our, our why is too surface level and achieving the goal is more of like a nice to have, like that would be cool rather than I must do this. So in order to achieve goals that we, that we really want to achieve, we have to turn it into I must do this. I have to do this. I will do this. So we have to make it a must. So in order to do that, we're gonna dive down and anchor into that really, really strong why. So let me walk you through Dean Graciosi's example and I'll pop up the image of his example right now so we can follow along together. So the very first thing that you're going to do is decide what your goal is, what it is that you want, what do you want to achieve, what do you want to accomplish? So if we're following along in Dean's um, example, he decides that he wants to become successful. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that he wrote um, become successful, and it's, it kind of says it in the, in the form of a question. So um, what is it that's what is important to you about becoming successful? And then on the right-hand side in the boxes, he's gonna answer that question, and he answers it with make more money. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate back and forth between the left-hand side and the right-hand side, and we're gonna ask ourselves a question, why is this important? And then we're gonna answer it in the right-hand side. And each time we're gonna go down, down, down. Why is that important? Why is that important? Why is that important? Seven times until we strike that very most deepest level of why this is important. So let's start at the top. So level one, we're, so very, very first thing is figure out your what. What do you want to accomplish? And then here we go. What is important to you about becoming successful? Making more money. Okay, number two. Why is it important for you to make more money? Well, the answer is get out of debt. Okay, number three. Why is it important for you to get out of debt? Dean's answer is because he wants to stop working so hard to pay someone else. Okay, number four. Why is it important for you to stop working so hard to pay someone else? And Dean says, because I want to do things in my life with the fruits of my labor. Cool, number five. Why is it important for you to do things with your life with the, flu um, with the fruits of your labor? Well, his answer is to take care of my mother who is widowed and needs help. Number six, specifically, why is it important for you to take care of your mother? Because she sacrificed everything to, tell, to send me to college and I want to make sure she is taken care of in her golden years. And then the last one, why is it so important to take care of your mother in her golden years and all these things? And um, his answer is because I want to be in control of my life and so I, can help, so I can help those around me who can't help themselves know that they are precious, worthy, and loved. Boom, that was it. That was his deepest, deepest level of his why. Once you start to get down to your deepest why, it should give you chills. Like you should get goosebumps. You should have that like excited sensation in your body and you should just like know, like this is it, like I have landed on it. That is how you know that you've, that you've got it. 
And this is going to be the juice that's going to drive you forward when things get hard. Because let's be real, it's not if things get hard, it's when things get hard. When you make this big decision, this thing that you want to accomplish, the universe is going to come at you. And she's going to be like, okay, how committed are you? How badly do you really want this? And here come all the obstacles, right? And it's not in a malicious way, I believe. I believe it's not in a malicious way. I believe that it's for us to challenge ourselves as human beings and to grow and to be committed to the things that we really want. And it's also a test of like our own integrity, right? Like how committed can we stay to our own word and to our promises to ourselves? So, I love this tool. I think it's totally awesome. Um, and I wanted to share it with you. I really hope that this is helpful. Um, another way that I like to think about this tool is like an iceberg. So um, I'm, I like this, I created this um, image. I love Canva, shout out to Canva. And I created this image because I am also very visual. And um, this is like drilling down into your deepest why. So at, at, the, at the beginning, when you first start um, defining your what and then asking your why questions, why is this important? Why is this important? It's kind of surface levely. Um, you know, you can even see in, in Dean's exercise, I want to be successful because I want to make more money. Well, I mean, like who doesn't want to make more money, right? That, that just, it's too vague and it's too nice to have. I'd love to have more money, right? But you can see as we drill down, 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 eventually we break that surface and we go under the water where the hidden portion of the iceberg is. And eventually we get all the way down to the tip, that very rooted part of the iceberg where our deepest, most meaningful why really lives. So if you've got a major goal, even if you have kind of like a minor goal, which currently feels like a nice to have, like maybe you wanna learn a foreign language or something, that that's not necessarily life altering, although it could be, um, you know, see if you can use that as a, as a way or as an example to drill down and find that really meaningful why. Maybe you wanna learn a foreign language at the surface because it seems cool, but if you really drill down, maybe it's because you wanna learn the language of your ancestors and you wanna be able to pull that part of your past forward and then carry it on into you know future generations. I don't know, you gotta figure out what it is for you, right? But um, yeah, so again, I am going to put a link to this um, tool in the show notes and this was, um, devise this particular exercise. There are other ones. I've seen one that it only goes down to five levels, um, but this seven level exercise um, I learned from Dean Graciosi. So thank you to Dean, shout out to him. And um, yeah, I hope that you give it a shot. I hope you try it. And if you're, if you're worried, you know, a little intimidated about starting with your biggest why, like I said, try something that's, that's, you've been thinking about for quite a while. It seems like a minor um, goal that you've liked to set for yourself. It does have to be a little bit juicy, right? Because you need to be able to, to dig down into those seven levels and see if it works for you. Give it a shot. Number one, start with your what. What is your goal? And then number two, drill down and find that deepest why. I would love, love, love to hear it, how you feel about this exercise. If it works for you, what do you think? Did you get the goosebumps when you hit level seven? If you're willing, I would love to hear um, what, what your goal is, number one, and what your deepest why is, number two. Feel free to leave those in the comments section below. I would absolutely enjoy reading them very much. And as always, thank you so much for following along with my uh, bikini competition journey. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or interpretive dances, you can leave those in the comments section as well. Or feel free to reach out to me um, and DM me directly if you are a little shy about your question or, or whatever. The best way to do that is on Instagram. You can find me at Melamina on Instagram. So, all right, y'all, that is it for now. I hope that you enjoyed episode number 25 how having a strong why can be the difference between achieving your goals and not. 
Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.